Hello everybody, this is Michael here from Michael's Life and Up and welcome back to some more Let's -a Play Pocket the Monster, Sapphire, Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, we really, it was a while ago and I'm sorry from the past couple episodes they have been stretched far apart. It's just I've been putting so much more priority into Super Nintendo Bike. Because in this episode, we're going to face the old man himself. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, how's it going, Champion Battle, Michael? The door's in, in this gym, blah, 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 blah. Use kind of items, yada, yada, yada. So they basically use items to heal themselves, I mean, to make themselves better. So this is the speed room. As you can see, my team is much more powerful now. Our most important Pokemon here is me, Proton John. You'll find out why. I'm just gonna be, and you have to face the trainers no matter what, and you have to face at least three of them, I believe, in order to get to Norman. <laughs> and Delcati. Now for this game, I'm probably gonna be only uploading it once every other day, once every three days. I do apologize for this. That's because Super Nintendo Mike is much more of a priority right now, and will be for now. Often, I don't know. I'll have to figure out some schedule. And I just. The first thing that these trainers will do is they will use items to increase their statistics. Now, as you can see, the reason why I keep on forgetting to level Skarmory up to level 30, as you can see, attack is bad, but it's defensive tank, as you can see. These guys need at least 50 um, attack each. And Skarmory is just a little bit under, but, um... We should be okay and not attract. Oh no. Anything but attract. Scrum we fell in love. And yeah, this is the reason why I'm because oh not sing. Why am I not using steel wing? It's much more powerful. Don't make me fall asleep. Thank you. Air Cutter. Ooh, this is a good move. Especially against Grass type Pokemon. Uh, this has 10 PP less, but. Um. I, I'm gonna keep double team. I'm just gonna get rid of Peck. This magnificent battle. We gained a lot of money. Zero reduction room. Alright. <laughs> I'm just going to go left, left, left. It doesn't matter which combination you do. As you can see, you have to go through this one. And I believe that's Norman, but I could be wrong. Don't waste your time to say it lowers Pokemon's abilities. Lanoon, which is the evolution of um, Zigzagoon. Guard spec. The game's to run in Mist, which... The evolution of Wingle, which is Pelipper, can actually learn that move. Which makes it a lot easier. And for some reason, their cutter kind of lags. <laughs> I have no idea why. Oops, sorry for my chair. I don't think we'll have to go to the Pokemon Center. I can just give Skarmory, like, a, some potion or something. Strength rooms. Yeah, you have to go through strength room no matter what. And then there's Norman, the next door. Our gym leader told us no to beat you. Happened to the leader's kid. Oh, so he's expecting us. Hmm. Okay, Zangoose. Ooh, man, this is a rare Pokemon. There's only a couple of these in the game. X attack. Now it's supposed to show. For some reason, it's supposed to show in like a little animation of like the Pokemon actually getting the status. Um, boost, but for some reason, in just these battles, it doesn't really show it, which I have no idea why, but whatever. <laughs> they just don't want to show it for some reason? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go to the Pokemon Center, we didn't really lose that much PP. Alrighty, there he is. So, yeah, dude, I got a lot of energy roots. <laughs> and a couple of rare candies. So we're going to send out Super Skarmory because Skarmory is going to be the least useless in this battle because, well, defensive tank, but still. 
Gym leader's room. Alrighty, quickly save. Alright, let's do it. Hmm. So you did get your f get four gym badges. Fine, as I promised, we will have a po pocket the monster battle. <laughs> I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child, but a battle is a battle. Do everything in my power as a gym leader to win, likely you better give it your best shot too. Alrighty guys, this is gym leader Norman. He's gonna send out a level 28 slaking, as you can see, spoiler alert, this is the evolution of Vigoroth and yes, the facade. The less, the more damage you do on him, the more powerful that move is, and that can be a one-hit KO move. So you can see this thing is, yeah, it's a defensive tank and it's an offensive tank as well. So it's going to be really tough to take down. So I'm just going to go for some double teams, and yeah, of course he's going to use Yawn on me. But if I can get enough double teams out, I think I might be able to take this thing out easily. And possibly sweep his entire team if the... If I can avoid their attacks. As you can see, the loafing around comes back after the Vigoroth because, well, as you can see from the sprite, he is a lazy type Pokemon. <laughs> Not normal type. No. Uh, just really quick, I'm just going to sped this up just because of the sleeping. Okay, I woke up. But quite honestly, this is one of the most difficult gym battles in the game if you're not leveled up correctly. If you are in level 30, you are in some trouble. If you're level 30 and above, but it all, of course, it depends on which Pokemon you're using. And ooh, Fane Attack, that's gonna, that's a pretty powerful Dark type move, which not very effective because I'm Steel type and a Flying type. But um, yeah, Proton John, I think, who was the Sableye, he actually learned Fane Attack, which I got room rid of um, Thief because it does 25 more damage I believe and yes so we are very quick right now I want to see what Swift will do so with this slice with this slaking missing every other attack and only doing faint attacks on me looks like we're gonna be be able to take this thing down hopefully before he uses a potion, because then we have to start all over again, and yada yada yada. What I should probably do is switch out after this next hit. I'll do one more hit on him, and then hopefully KO him. I mean, even though this is his weakest Pokemon, it is kind of annoying. Well, maybe I should let him waste his potions. Because I believe the first... Three gym leaders have one potion each, and then the rest of them have at least two. Yeah, Hyper Potion heals 200 HP, which the Slaking probably has like a hundred or so, or possibly more, because it's obviously a third evolution, and obviously when a Pokemon evolves, it gains more HP and other tons of stats too. I'm trying to go for another Air Cutter. See what it can do, and I missed. It is 95% accuracy. And oh no, not yawn. Not yawn. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on using air cutter. Oh no, I fell asleep. Ooh, I should actually heal. I'll use soda pop, why not? Very last soda pop. Come on, wake up! There we go. Ooh, jeez, good thing that missed because that might have been able to take this out. Because as I said, Facade does as much damage as you've taken. And even if a status infliction is on it, like par paralysis or poison or burn or frozen, it does twice as much damage, but you can't attack when you're frozen, so... <laughs> this should be able to knock it out. No, not quite, but this will. Apparently only has one potion. Or he just wants to save it. So we're gonna get a level up, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna send out his... This is interesting. He's sending out his ace Pokemon on us. So we're gonna bring on NCS here. Save Scoop Super Scarm for a little bit. 
This is his ace Pokemon. It's actually three levels higher than his previous one. His, his next Pokemon, I believe, is level 30. I don't think Yawn can work on him. So let's see what we can do against our own evolution. Plus it's focus. Ooh. Yeah, because there's that one hit KO move. I forgot what it's called. And just as long... Ooh, yes. Come on, don't miss. Good. So it looks like we have this easily because... I if strength is 100%... Yes! So we're gonna easily take this this thing down because I think it's using Focus Punch or something. Whatever move it's called, that's a one-hit KO move. Uh, would, now let's go with Strength. And yes. Hyper Potion on his Ace Pokemon. But just as long as he keeps on using that one move, this will be a really easy fight. Whoa! Crit! Nice. Can we get another crit? Whoa! Back-to-back -back crits, are you kidding me? We just knocked this thing out in three hits! And it's three levels higher than us, it's our same type, and it has... it's an evolution. That was... wow. Okay, Vigoroth. Now here's Proton John shining at his best. Because Ghost-type move Pokémon, or Dark-type Pokémon, can't be affected by Normal-type moves. So just for the heck of it, we're gonna use Fake Out here. Because we can. And... Encore? <sighs> you kidding me? That's such a troll. Hang on. Okay. That was a really good move on his part, because Encore... I mean... Encore makes you repeat the same move five times in a row. And, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that I used Fake Out. He's probably planning on me. Are oh, you serious? He keeps on trolling me, no. He does not want to lose this. Oh, well, I can't... Oh, it doesn't affect him. Oh. Oh, that's why I was failing. Alright, let's do Scratch. <laughs> okay, apparently that's not working. Let's get Chug out. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm spending up the game. I just I just do that a lot, because... When you're doing off-screen on this game on an emulator, you really want to... Oh, man. Well, I didn't really do that much damage, but yeah, when you're off screen, you want to sped up the game so you don't waste as much time. Ooh, crit. And speed is down, so we should go first. Nice, we finished off Norman. Alright. Player defeated. I, I can't I can't believe it, Michael. We didn't lose to Michael, but rules are rules. Here, take this. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Receive the balance badge. I'm dead. Alright. Very, very nice. This badge is defensive. All your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know they to move Surf. Use the Travel of Water, which you'll be getting soon, I believe. And Facade. Doubles power, move Poison, Paralyzer, Burn, and my be able to turn the situation into an advantage. Can't express how upset I am. Blah, blah, blah. Makes me happy and sad. How odd. <laughs> Camera, blah blah blah. What's something I want to give you? Talk to him as always. Whoa, you will overcome even your own father. Like, whoa, it's a stunning turn of events. Yeah, he was trolling me with the encore, which is a really good move on his part. So let's talk to them really quick. Boy became very healthy, Van Burden, Turf Town, Pokemon, yada yada yada. We got the HM03, which is... Surf. Which we are actually going to teach to someone right now. I can't believe I can't use overheat. 
Wait, how much? I think anybody can learn it, yeah. Um. Just 70 damage, 40, it's 20 PP. Uh, you know what, I'll just teach it to him, why not? It's gonna be even more powerful when he, he evolves. So we got Surf, oh yeah, I forgot to teach it. <laughs> um, I forget what HM2 is. Slavenator can learn it? But I think I would want to teach it to Chugga because... I'm gonna get rid of Tackle, why not? Who knows, I might change it to Slavenator later on. My family's really rude. They, were, they talk really loud and so obnoxious. Sorry if you heard any of that. Anyways, guys, this has been Michael's Life on Help here. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we are actually going to... Um... We're actually going to surf across Melville City. And then go to Fortree City. Well, the Weather Institute, yeah. Then Fortree City, which is our next gym badge, and then do some other stuff too. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I've been Michael Zabon up here, and I hope to see you in the next one, either tomorrow or the day after. See you guys then.